During this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can use Pinterest to really drive a lot of traffic to our websites and our squeeze pages and things using what they call boards, okay? Now, real quick, let's go ahead and go over Pinterest and what it is and why you need to be using it. First of all, it's a social network that basically is a bunch of virtual bulletin boards, all right? They have something that they call pinning, and it's almost like when you like something on Facebook. You go around the internet, if you see something you like, you pin it, all right? And it kind of saves it to a board, which is basically a gallery of a certain subject. So the whole idea of the website is, it's a bunch of different boards, which are basically just categories, and people can pin stuff to that board, which again, is basically them just saving things to that category. And people can go on the website and they can follow boards, and that means they will receive you know, notifications whenever someone posts something to that board, or they can follow profiles and they will get notifications and see whatever that person posts, no matter what board it is, all right? So here I am on Pinterest right now, and as we can see, it's kind of, you know, it looks kind of cluttered, and we have all these different images. Now, again, actually, people, what they pin, people usually pin images the most, all right? You can pin, like, websites, you can pin images, you know, you can pin links, videos, whatever. Images is usually what people pin the most, as we can see. And I actually follow a few different boards. As we can see, I follow a board called Luxury Cars. And all these different, you know, fancy looking cars you see on my board right now is from that board. I follow, you know, funny pictures. I follow technology and things like that. And as we can see, it is a bunch of different images mainly that are, you know, that covers my board. And if I was to follow your board, for example, I would see whatever you post on your board here. So the strategy that we're going to use is we're going to create our own board that is related to our niche. And inside of that board, we're going to be pinning our squeeze pages and any other information that we want to pin that kind of directly relates back to our website. And then we're going to spread the word of that board around to related websites and things like that so that we can grow our followers. And it's almost like you're building a list of people. All right. So real quick to kind of show you what the boards look like, I'm going to hop in here to the luxury cars and this is what an individual board looks like. This is the luxury cars board. We can see that they have 1 million followers and we kind of scroll down here and we can see all the different posts that the luxury cars board is making, which it is all just images of these different cars. Now the great thing is when I click on an image here, it's going to pop up like this here. I can repin it to my board if I wanted to. And then when I actually click on the image again, it's going to redirect me to the website where that image came from. Pretty cool, right? And it actually looks like this website is kind of using the method that I'm talking about right now because this is actually a website where you book flights. So what they do is they post this cool little image here. People are going to click on it because they want to see more images like this. And it's going to redirect them to this website. And now they have jet radar in the back of their mind when they are looking to book a flight from somewhere. All right, that's kind of what we're doing here because when someone's gonna click on our images or whatever it is that we post to our board and they're gonna click on the image for more information, they're gonna be redirected to our squeeze page or our sales page or our blog or whatever it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my name up here. I just created this profile here for the sake of this video. I'm going to click on create a board here and we need to give it a name. So let's say I'm trying to create a board that teaches people, you know, how to drive traffic to your website. Right? The whole idea is, you know, for internet marketers who are looking to drive traffic. So I could name it something like best strategies for driving traffic to your website. In the description, I could say something more like all the different methods and strategies that I use to drive traffic to my website. And for a category, I will choose education, I suppose. If this was some kind of local things, some kind of local business, I would add the map, like a Google map. It's not though, so I'm not gonna add that, and I do not wanna keep it secret because I want people to follow me. So I'm going to create that board, and now we have this board here where we can start pinning our things. Now, like I said, people love images, so the first thing I could do is I would head over to Google, for example, and start finding images related to traffic, like infographics, that I could pin to my board. So here I am on Google and I went to website traffic infographic and we're going to pin some of these graphics to our board. 
Now, when you go to Pinterest and you sign up, they are going to um, offer you the opportunity to go ahead and add a little uh, icon up here on your Google Chrome or your Firefox, and it's called Pin It, and it's going to make it just you know a lot easier to pin stuff to your board from all these different websites. So I went ahead and I installed that. Now, basically, what I want to do is I want to open some of these links up, and I want to find some infographics that I could pin to my board that kind of gets you know gets the party started i have some information there i have some valuable information so people you know can see that and they will follow my board because they know that i share valuable information so i'm gonna open these two links up here i'm gonna open this up we can see that we have this cool image here so i'm going to click on the my pin option up here my pin it and it's going to automatically uh, pull the images that are on that page so we can see we have it pulled the image twice so i'm going to click on pin it here and it's going to pop up with this little board here. I can choose which board I want to pin it to. So I'm going to pin it to my best strategies for driving traffic. And then we can add a description. So I'm going to say, how to drive thousands of visitors to your website using Twitter. Hashtag Twitter traffic. Hashtag drive traffic. Hashtag website traffic. Now, this is one of the most important things when sharing things to your board. You want to have a nice, clear description of what it is. And you want to make use of hashtags okay hashtags are a popular way that people use to find different things on pinterest so if someone is looking for infographics on how to drive traffic make sure that you kind of include that into the hashtag something that they might search okay so if someone's looking to drive traffic and they search pinterest they might search you know website traffic or drive traffic or you know if they're looking to use twitter twitter traffic and this is going to pop up they're going to see my anchor infographic they're going to like it and they're going to follow my board okay so we're going to pin this just like that there and now when we head back to my board here and i refresh it we're going to see that i now have this image here inside of my board okay now opposed to you know actually posting all these different infographics and images and articles and things like that we want to make sure that we pin our squeeze pages as well all right so let's say i had all my different you know images posted here and now i'm ready to kind of share my free report i have a or a video course or my free report on how to drive a lot of traffic to your website and i'm looking to you know to kind of put that up on my board so it gets some you know get some attention and get some traction so here i am on um a demo you know kind of little sales page squeeze page here from uh, lead pages but let's say this was my squeeze page and i wanted to pin this to my board well to actually just to pin a website here I'm on my squeeze page here. Let's say this is it. I'm going to click on the pin it button up here again. And as we can see, it kind of pops up here and it's going to pin my actual website link. Okay. Now, if you have any images on that website, like an ebook cover on your squeeze page, it will show that image here instead of this image that you see here. Okay. So what I can say is click here to learn how I drove 14,395 visitors to my blog in two weeks. And then I put my hashtags in there again to kind of make sure people can find this information if they're searching on Pinterest. So I'm gonna pin it just like that. This window is gonna pop up again, just kind of confirm what we typed out. We're gonna choose the board that we wanna pin it to, and then we're gonna click on pin it. I'm gonna head back over here. I'm going to refresh my board here. And now we have this one here. So when people are on our board, they're gonna see our images. They're gonna see this here that says, you know, hey, click here to learn how I drove all these visitors. They're gonna click on it. It's gonna pop up. They're going to click on it again and it's going to redirect them to our squeeze page that we just got done pinning okay pretty awesome right so let's go back here so we're going to make sure that we fill this board up with images and all the different links to our squeeze pages you don't have to have just one here we can have all kinds of different squeeze pages here or sales pages or your blogs or anything like that and now we need to kind of you know spread the word about our new board that we have here and get people to start following us well, the first thing that we can do is we can head up to the search bar and we can search for related types of boards that, and, and people that are related to our niche and we can follow them and most likely they're going to follow us in return. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the search bar and I'm going to search, you know, let's try website traffic at first and see what happens. So the first thing we're going to see here is all the different pins that are related to website traffic. Now, this is also another great way that you can find images and things like that to kind of repin to your board. So for example, increase traffic to website. We see this infographic here. I can actually click on the pin it button here and just go ahead and pin it directly to my board as well. That's another way that we can kind of build up our board. But what I'm going to click on is first of all, I'm going to go to boards up here and I want to follow people and boards that are kind of related to my board. Okay. So for example, increase website traffic. 
We can see they have 13 pins. You know, website traffic, they have 48 pins, so I can follow them, for example. Easy ways to build website traffic, I can follow them. They have 30 pins. Free website traffic, 268 pins, follow them. And you kind of just go through here and follow all the different boards that are related to your niche that have a lot of pins. Now, next what we're going to do is we're going to kind of be like the, you know, the YouTube method that we did and that we're going to follow and find people in, you know, niche related blogs or forums or people who have websites that we could reach out to. And we are going to ask them if we can place our pin, our board, our Pinterest board on their website. Now, if you have a blog yourself, you definitely want to post your Pinterest board on your blog. Okay. That is one of the most important things that we can do. We can post it, you know, you know, below our articles on our blog or on our sidebar. And we also want to reach out to people who have related blogs that we can reach out to and, you know, may pay them in exchange for them placing our board on their blog as well. All right. So how do we do that? How do we, you know, place our board? Well, when we are viewing our board, like I am here, we are going to click on the little three buttons over here, the three little dots, and we're going to go to make a widget. And we can see that it gives us an HTML code here, and we can see what the widget looks like. And this is going to show all of our different pins that we have here, and people can click on them individually and visit our website, or they can click on see on Pinterest, and it's going to redirect them to our full page here, where they can follow us, follow our board, and stay in touch, okay? So we're going to give that HTML code to our partners or other people that will advertise it on their blog. Now, obviously, other people do not have to have your board on their blog for you to get traffic. That's just one of the ways to really explode and get a lot of traffic to your to your board here and get a lot of followers. But just keeping up to date and staying active and consistent and sharing images and articles and your websites on your board is going to allow you to start to aggregate and get a lot of followers automatically through Pinterest because a lot of people do browse Pinterest and actively search for new boards to follow. So be consistent, hire a virtual assistant if you need to, to just repin a few things each and every day from related boards. Make sure that you have your websites and your squeeze pages added to your board as well. Make sure you add the widget to your blog and any related blogs. And you are going to start to see a lot of passive traffic heading your way just from Pinterest.